So you're starting an online course. You want it to look and feel professional, obviously. Whether or not you know how to create videos, I've got you covered. By the end of this video, you'll have the skills you need to create online course videos that not only meet, but exceed the expectations of your customers. So let's jump right in and turn that course into a masterpiece. So to start off, there are a few ways you can film your online course. You can film online courses talking to the camera, like I'm doing right now, or you can record them as a slideshow presentation with either your face in the corner or just a voiceover. You can also do a mix of both of these things. Say you introduce the chapter or section of your course, give a little bit of background, and then move into a PowerPoint presentation. This is going to give you the chance to connect with your viewer, but also give them extra visuals to help with their learning experience. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record a mix of both talking head and PowerPoint presentations and edit that course together, all using just one platform. First things first, equipment. You'll want a good microphone so that your audio sounds pristine. A great mic that doesn't break the bank is the ATR2100X. You can get this on Amazon for under $100, and you simply plug it into your computer via USB or USB-C, and you're ready to record. Now, you don't need a fancy camera to record. You can just use your phone. You'll also need either a phone tripod or a gadget like this that magnets to the back of your phone and allows you to mount it to the top of your computer. You'll also need some source of light. If you can film facing a window, that's a great way to get free lighting. You can also purchase a ring light. This is gonna help light up your face, but to up your game, opt for a softbox light. This will help light more of your video frame. The one that I'm using right now is the Mount Dog softbox light, and I'll link it in the description. Now you want to think about your background. Remember to tailor your filming location to the nature of your course content and your audience. Creating a visually appealing and distraction-free environment can significantly enhance the overall quality of your online course videos. So you want to opt for a clean and clutter-free background to keep the focus on you and your content. So things like solid colored walls or neatly arranged bookshelves with books or plants can work really well. Or, if applicable, film in an area that's related to your course. For example, a cooking course could be filmed in the kitchen. If you want to learn how to create a great video background from any room in your house, you can watch the video linked above. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty of this video, recording. So once you sign up and log into Riverside, you're gonna wanna create a new studio for your online course. So simply press new studio, name your course, select audio and video because you are recording both audio and video and enter the studio. Now on this page, you can select the equipment that you want to use. So underneath my microphone, I'm going to select my ATR2100X. And underneath my camera, I'm going to select Connect Mobile Cam. Now you'll be given a QR code that you can scan with your phone that will allow you to connect your phone as an external camera for your computer. Select I am not using headphones and join studio. This is the Riverside Studio where you will record your course. You'll want to frame your shot nicely so that your head is in the middle upper of the frame. On the side here, you can check your audio levels. You want to make sure that it stays within the green and the yellow. So you can use this script feature at the bottom here to add in your script that you want to say during the course. This means you don't have to memorize anything. You can also use this teleprompter feature if you find that seeing yourself on screen is distracting. I'm honestly just gonna wing this one because it's just an example. So the first thing that you'd want to do is record your introduction to the course. So I'm going to press record and do my introduction. Hello everyone and welcome to the online course podcasting to build your brand. I'm Bridget, I'm going to be your course instructor throughout the course. We're so excited to have you here. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so I've stopped recording, my intro is done, and you can see on the side here that it's uploading to the cloud. Now don't worry if you mess up anything during the recording, just go back to the beginning of the line that you messed up and start saying the line again. You don't wanna end the recording and start the recording again because that's gonna leave you with a bunch of recordings in your recording page and it's gonna be hard to figure out like which one's the good recording, which one's the bad recording. So just keep recording all the way through. You can edit out those mistakes in post-production. But again, make sure to start at the beginning of the line that you messed up, not just at the word that you messed up because that's gonna make it more seamless when you are editing in post-production. And I'm gonna teach you how to do that coming up real soon. All right, so I've recorded my introduction. Now I wanna get into the first part of the course, which includes a PowerPoint presentation. So here, under the share, I'm gonna upload a presentation. 
Okay, so once it's done, you're going to select the PowerPoint and it will show up here. Okay, here is my PowerPoint. You can navigate between the slides by pressing the arrow keys on your keyboard. So I'm gonna hit record again and I'm gonna film the next portion of my course. So like I mentioned, this is podcasting to build your brand. My name is Bridget O'Rourke and my co-host Spencer Barlow will be on soon to help get us through this presentation. I'm gonna start that over, didn't really like that. So like I said before, this is podcasting to build your brand. I'm your host, Bridget. So like I said before, this is podcasting to build your brand. I am your course instructor, Bridget, and my co-host of my podcast, Spencer Barlow, will be on a little bit later to chat about being a co-host on a podcast episode. So today, these are the things we're gonna cover. We're gonna cover how podcasting can benefit brands and businesses. We're gonna talk about getting started on creating a podcast. We're gonna talk about branding your podcast. We're gonna talk about planning your first episodes. This is a well-rounded view of how you can create a podcast to build your brand. Okay, so now I finished the intro PowerPoint presentation and I wanna go back to a talking head video to introduce the first chapter, which is how podcasting can benefit brands and businesses. So I'm simply gonna press stop at the bottom here and that will stop presenting the PowerPoint. So I'm gonna press record and introduce the next chapter. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about in this course is how you can use a podcast to help build and grow your brand and why you would even want to do that. I'm gonna give you jam-packed full, I'm going to give you a ton of information on why you should be considering this in the first place before we get into how to do it. All right, let's dive in. Now, as you can see there, I messed up a few times. Not a big deal, gonna edit it out in post-production. So now I want to have the PowerPoint on again. So what I'm gonna do, exit out of this, share, presentation, and select the presentation again. It will load back up. Navigate to the page that you want to start on. So this is where we're starting now. And I'm gonna press record. So how can having a podcast benefit your business? This is gonna give you a personal connection with your audience. You can speak to and engage directly with your listeners to build loyalty. Now I would go on to talk about the 10 episode rule. I wanna talk about discovering your niche and deciding on a format for your podcast. And that's the end of chapter one. So I'm going to hit stop recording. Now I'll press stop at the bottom here so that the PowerPoint presentation goes away. And this is when you would continue on doing that process until you get through the whole course. Of course, you can do this in different days. Like you don't have to do this all in one go. You can come back and record a section tomorrow if you'd like. So I'm just gonna conclude up this little mini course that I just made with a talking head video and then we'll get into editing. I hope you liked this little course on podcasting to build your brand and how it can help you grow your business. And hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, we're done. That was just a very little mini course that didn't make a lot of sense just for the purpose of being an example, but I'm gonna show you how I would edit that together and what it looks like at the end. So I would head to view recordings. Okay, so now we're on this page and what we want to do is we want to rename each of these recordings so that it reflects what the recording is about. This is going to help you when we get into the editor. So how to do that is you just click on the three dots underneath the recording, press rename, and I'll do introduction. Now I'm going to navigate and do that with the rest of the recordings. Okay, done. Now what you're going to do is click on the introduction and head into that recording page. Go into the editor. All right, so now we're in the introduction of your online course. The first thing that you want to do is take out any mistakes from this introduction. So you can see here, I actually don't have any mistakes in this introduction, so I'm not gonna take them out. But if I was going to, what I would do is highlight over the mistakes and select delete, and that will delete the mistakes from the final video file. You'll see that reflected along the timeline. I'm just gonna undo that. Now you do see that there are some silences at the beginning and the end of this recording. Don't worry about that. We have a cool feature that's gonna remove all the silences and we're gonna do that at the end of putting together our online course. So the next step, Maybe you have an introduction video that you want before the introduction of your course. So you're gonna to head to this little plus button and press video. Now upload that introduction video and then you want it before the introduction of your course. So you're going to drag it along the timeline to before the introduction. 
Now you can see it goes nicely from my introduction video into the introduction of my course. I'll show you here. Hello everyone and welcome to the online course podcasting to build your brand. Nice flow. Now the next thing that you want to do is add the next section of your course, which would be the PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to zoom out on the timeline here, press this plus button and head to recordings. Now this is why we renamed all of the recordings so that it's easy for you to navigate and know which ones to put in sequence when you're building your online course. So I know that the next section for me is presentation one. So I'm going to select that. Now, first thing you need to do, go through the transcript and remove any mistakes. I know I messed up a lot in this take. You can see here, I say, I'm gonna start over. Didn't really like that one. So as I said before, oh, and then I start over again. So like I said before, so I'm gonna highlight everything I want taken out of the video and I'm gonna press delete. Now you'll see the video starts at, so like I said before, let's listen back to it. So like I said before, this is podcasting to build your brand. Perfect. So I've taken out that mistake. Now I'm gonna go through and take out any other mistakes that I made throughout the recording of this section. All right, that part's done. Now you may not like this layout here with the talking head on the right hand side and the presentation on the left hand side. I'm not a big fan because of this big black space underneath the talking head part. So at the point of recording this video, you can't actually move the talking head around the screen, which is something I would like to see, and I'm sure it's coming up. So based on when you're watching this video, make sure to play around with the tools that are available to you to see if that is actually an option at that point. But for now, what you can do if you wanna take out your talking head video altogether is head up to tracks, and you can select use audio only. Underneath you see here presentation one, that's the section we're working on. And underneath Bridget, you can press use audio only. That will eliminate the video of the talking head track and only leave you with a voiceover over top of your presentation. And I am your course instructor, Bridget, and my co-host of my podcast, Spencer Barlow, will be... Now, once you're done editing that section, you'll want to zoom out on the timeline and press this plus button and insert the next recording. So I know mine is talking head one comes next. Again, I'm gonna go through this with a fine tooth comb and take out any mistakes. So I'm gonna give you a jam packed full. That's not right. I'm gonna take that out. As you can see, it's deleted from the video and reflected on the timeline. All right, I'm done that section. Now I'm gonna move on again to the next section, which is my next presentation part. So I'm gonna press the plus button, recordings, and insert my next presentation. And again, I want to remove that talking head portion, so I'm going up to tracks, and I'm heading to presentation two and selecting use audio only under Bridget. Again, I'm gonna go through this section and take out any mistakes. And then lastly, I'm going to add my conclusion. As we know, it was a super short example course. Yours will probably go on for many, many chapters, but for now, I'm just going to add my conclusion. Recordings and I'm going to go to conclusion. All right, my full course is now put together. So really cool feature that we're going to use. We wanna take out all those silences so that the course flows nicely from one recording to the next. So I'm going to head up to magic tools and remove all silences. This is going to remove all of the silences throughout the whole course. Now you can use these tools to add things like captions. If you are adding captions, you can correct any words that maybe were mistranscribed in the transcription by highlighting over it and pressing correct. You can also add a logo for brand awareness throughout your video. Now, when you go to export, because you record it on your phone, if you did record on your phone, you can export in up to 4K because your phone's camera quality is just that good. select export, and then head back to the recording page. Now back on your recording page dashboard, you will see it say exporting right here. When it's ready, it will say exported. And from this page, you can preview the video. Hello everyone and welcome to the- And download the full file of your online course.
And of course, if you don't want to put your full course together like this into one video, perhaps you have different chapters in a more interactive course, you can always just export these videos individually. And there you go, and now you have your online course looking professional, looking pristine, high quality audio and video. It's ready to exceed the expectations of your customers. Now, if you want to see what the quality is like of the online course that I just made, the mini online ad-libbed course, then stick around, I'm gonna play it at the end of this video. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments. I respond to all of those personally. And my name is Bridget, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Hello everyone, and welcome to the online course podcasting to build your brand. I'm Bridget, I'm going to be your course instructor throughout the course. We're so excited to have you here. We're gonna get deep into why building a podcast for your brand can really help grow your brand and build an audience and have customers coming back for more. So without further ado, let's dive in. So today, these are the things we're gonna cover. We're gonna cover how podcasting can benefit brands and businesses. We're gonna talk about getting started on creating a podcast. We're gonna talk about branding your podcast. We're gonna talk about planning your first episodes, recording and editing your podcast, promoting your podcast, and monetizing your podcast. So buckle up, this is a well-rounded view of how you can create a podcast to build your brand. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about in this course is how you can use a podcast to help build and grow your brand and why you would even want to do that. I'm going to give you a ton of information on why you should be considering this in the first place before we get into how to do it. So. How can having a podcast benefit your business? This is gonna give you a personal connection with your audience. You can speak to and engage directly with your listeners to build loyalty. It's gonna give you a long shelf life. People, podcasts are evergreen. Podcasts give you so much content that will just be on the internet for years to come. It will also give you brand authority. So you can share valuable and informative content that establishes you and your brand as an expert within your niche. You can also generate passive income. It will open up new opportunities for things like collaborations, and you can generate multiple pieces of social content. Now I would go on to talk about the 10 episode rule. I wanna talk about discovering your niche and deciding on a format for your podcast. And that's the end of chapter one. I hope you liked this little course on podcasting to build your brand and how it can help you grow your business. Of course, my name is Bridget O'Rourke, and hopefully I'll see you next time.